beginning of love is the will to let those we love be perfectly themselves. The resolution not to twist them to fit our own image. If in loving them, we do not love what they are, but only their potential likeness to ourselves, then we do not love them. We only love the reflection of ourselves we find in them. Jessica and Nicholas, today is your day. A moment to reflect in your journey to date and share your happiness as you celebrate your partnership and commitment to each other. It is a day for celebration, a day for a reflection, and a day where we are reminded of the importance of family and friends in our lives. Nick describes his bride as beautiful, vibrant, enthusiastic, happy, driven, and highly motivated. He says he loves her strong commitment to her family, her beautiful smile, and her happy, outgoing personality. While Jessica says it is Nick's respect for family, his creativity in music, and his love of trying new things and life adventures that endears him to her. She so describes him as hardworking, loving, and caring. A handsome man who is perhaps better suited in the garden than in the kitchen. Jessica, I offer myself to you to be your husband, your best friend and companion through life. I promise to share my life completely with yours, to continue to always be there for you through everything and will support and care for you, making you smile every day. I will be here always to support you through life's challenges, treating you with love, respect, friendship and loyalty throughout our life. Therefore, I call upon the persons here present to witness that I, Nicholas James Roberts, take you, Jessica Zara Petra, to be my lawfully wedded wife to have and to hold from this day forward. Jessica, do you promise to be my lawfully wedded wife, to be there by my side wherever your journey takes you? I do. Nicholas, I offer myself to you to be your wife, your best friend and companion through life. I promise to share my life completely with yours, to continue to be there for you, to always be honest with you and to keep you in check. I will be here always to support you through life's challenges, treating you with love, respect, friendship and loyalty through our life together. Therefore, I call upon the persons here present to witness that I, Jessica Sarah Petcher, take you, Nicholas James Roberts, to be my lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward. Nick, do you promise to be my lawfully wedded husband, to be there by my side wherever your journey takes you? I do. Nicholas and Jessica, following the declaration of your vows today, your exchange of rings, it is my absolute privilege as your celebrant to declare you husband and wife. Nick, you may kiss your gorgeous bride. Woohoo! Uh, of all time, right? So um, I was very privileged to accompany Jessica today. She told me many times, don't cry, don't lose it, do not lose it. And I got there, got to the top of the stairs, and I lost it. Yeah, that was it, it was gone. I tried, but I kept on looking up, so that was fine. Suffice it to say that Regina and I are both very proud of how she looked today, right? And how she's grown up. And uh, we're both delighted that she's found someone who obviously loves and cares so much for her. So some 25 years ago, as I swam in the pimple fueled era, some call adolescence, I met a bloke we called Fish. Fish and I became mates and we've been mates ever since. Then a couple of years later, I was introduced to his little brother, who not strangely had the name of Plankton. 
as, as is the Aussie way, this was shortened to Plank, amongst other things. So it was that Plank, now known as Nico or Nickel, and I found the thread that has kept us close and nourished us through good times and bad. This gift is music, with all the creativity, friendship and transcendence that it brings. All the music I've ever written never sounds as good or complete without Nick's input and support. And he has carried this through all the years of friendship that we have had together. I'm extremely pleased for Nick that he's, he's marrying Jessica because I, the first time I saw her, I, I, I thought, well, this, this is the girl for you. I didn't say anything to him, but yeah, so um, yeah, she's a vibrant, uh, loving person, a great family person. Um, you know, just the sort of uh, partner in, in life that Nick needs in his life. One of the things I like to say to Jessica, I say, you're extremely lucky you're marrying Nick. Uh, yeah, he is a fantastic person. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, so he, yeah, he is. He really is somebody, yeah. And I'm extremely, you're extremely lucky. Anyway, I wish um, Nick and Jessica all the best of happiness throughout their lives. And yeah, so um, it started off really good, you know. Um, so I'm sure it's going to end up five times better than what it is now. So I look at my daughter and I see independent, attractive, elegant, stunning young woman. She obviously takes after her mother. Every father hopes that his daughter will find a reliable, sensible, considerable partner as much as you try not to interfere in their lives. And you hope your children, at the end of the day, choose well. Jessica chose Nick. And in, in Jessica's early years, as an Italian person, you, you place some restrictions on what decisions they, they're going to make. You try and guide them in the right way. But uh, luckily she didn't listen. We couldn't be happy with her choice. And we again find our hero, Plankton, lost at sea. Who was it that could hear the song in his heart? Yet it wasn't from the ocean that his true soulmate came along but from the earth, bringing unconditional love and a symphony for Nick that is elevated far above the mere mateship of minstrels. In Jess, who from now on shall be known as Jess Robbo, Dockers fanatic, I see an intelligent, passionate, warm, fun and genuine person who has brought true happiness to a man who deserves just that. And together they bring a certain something that lights all in attendance tonight. And I'm sure you'll agree that there is no one more radiant and beautiful today than the gorgeous bride. The actor Richard Burton once said that a woman accepts a man for what he is and then spends the rest of her life trying to change him. So if we can take one last look at Nick, as we know. So I reckon Jessica's really started remodeling Nick as we, are, as we look at him now. And he'll probably be a totally different person in the morning. That is, I would like to all raise your glasses for the health and happiness of the bride and groom in Jessica Renick. So thank you. The Jessica Renick. Sticking with non-tradition as I am, I haven't chosen to throw my bouquet to all the single women that are here tonight. I've chosen to give it to someone very special in my life. She has been around my, my life, my entire life. Um, she has grown up without a mum, virtually since the age of 14. She has worked so hard throughout her whole entire life. She has four beautiful children, who most of which are here today. And you are so beautiful. <laughs> she just realised it was her. <laughs> the four children gave it away. <laughs> you, although are my dad's sister, you've never fought with my family. You've always been such a beautiful person and you work so hard, you love hard. And I want to give you my bouquet to you, my Zia Kabbalah. I love you. I love you. 
my mum, who always, always, always is there for me, would stop traffic just to come to me whenever I needed her. Thank you for being who you are, and I wish I too can be a mother like you one day. You make me laugh, you cry, make me cry and shout, but I wouldn't change it, change anything about you. I love you so much. My dad, who refers to himself as my brother most of the time. Today I know was a special moment for you walking me down the aisle, although you didn't let me let mum walk with us. I'm glad, I'm glad you, I had you standing by my side as you have through all my years. We have such a close relationship. We are very similar in personality and not sure in looks. But I strive to be like you. You are my hero and I love you. To my brother Louis. I don't know, there you are. And to Maria. She's there too. Um, you've always been so close to me, never losing sight of me, even as a child and doing similar now. I know I never say it, but I love you so much. And I know you love me too. Which brings me to now, where today I married my best friend. I didn't know it was you I was looking for all over these years. You have brought so much diversity to my life. We are so similar, yet we're so different. I've learned so much from you and experienced so much with you. We really have the best life. It's amazing. Your entire family and friends have become my family and my friends. And I'm so proud to officially say that I'm now a Roberts. Sorry, Mum. Today we promise to continue living life to the fullest, to continue exploring the world together and just seeing where life takes us. We already live such an amazing life together. I can't wait to see what's next. You truly are my everything and I couldn't have asked for a better man to call my husband. I love you more than anything and here's to more adventures. Love you, baby. Tony, I couldn't have asked for a better father-in-law. From the beginning, you made it clear that as long as I'm not an Eagles or East Perth supporter, then I'd have half a chance with your daughter. <laughs> Luckily for me, like I said I was Eagles, but I actually didn't know anything about football. <laughs> Nothing. My dad was an Eagles supporter. Sorry, Dad. Sorry, dad. Regina, rare <laughs> ran. You've been so good to me. You have welcomed me with open arms into your family from the day I met you. Your strong commitment to family and great ability to cook enormous amounts of high quality Italian food <laughs> will mean that I'll be extremely fat in a few years' time. Jean Paolo? Louis? <laughs> I immediately felt a strong bond with you. Uh, which is lucky for me because Jessica said that if, if Jampolo doesn't like you, then it's probably not going to happen. No, no chance. It's no chance. No chance. I'm gone. I'm finished. So, thanks, mate. Um, really, I really appreciate all the help that you've, you know, uh, over the years. And I'm, I'm going to be a very good, uh, you know, brother-in-law to you. Maria? Uh, Marilyn? I think we've had a very good understanding from the start. We don't really need to talk about it, but you know, I admire that you, you just tell it how it is, and I love that about people. You know, people that just don't stuff around, they just get to the point, and I really appreciate that. Now, I'd really like to thank my family um, David, Penny, uh, Nathan, and Mel for making me the man I am today. Mum and Dad, you're the best parents that I could ever ask for. You've supported me in everything that I've done. Uh, from a young age you could see that I was gifted in music and you encouraged me to learn it and for that I'm forever grateful for. Thank you. Mel and Nath, we've uh, had many a moment over the years and not all of them good but uh, I just cherish our childhood growing up in Mosman Park together and you know, I'm just so glad that we're back to where we should be. Jessica, 
you are my best friend for life. Although we are very different people, we complement each other perfectly. You've single-handedly organised this entire day with little or no help from me. Much to her frustration. And what an amazing day it's been, people. I've loved it. My love grows, my love for you grows stronger every day. I'm so lucky to have such a beautiful wife. And I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives together.